Hi, welcome everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to see how to make tempeh. It's a good source of protein for non-meat eaters and vegans. Its origin is from Indonesia, but it's widely used in Southeast Asian cooking. It's actually very easy to make once you get the hang of it. The most important ingredient we need is the ragi tempeh, which is the tempeh starter. This is only available from Indonesia. You can actually Make this on your own. If you have a piece of tempeh, you can grind it and add some rice flour to it and dry it and you get this tempeh starter. The ingredients to make the tempeh is very basic. What we need is 2 cups of soya bean, 2 tablespoons of white vinegar, 2 teaspoons of the tempeh starter and lots of water. First, we have to rinse and soak the soya bean for about 10 to 12 hours. After soaking, if the water turns murky, rinse it and put it in a pot with lots of water and boil it. Once it starts to boil, lower the heat, let it simmer for about 5 minutes and turn off the heat. Place a lid, let it sit for at least 2 hours. Now it's at least 3 hours. Just be careful when you put your hand in, it might be still hot. The next step is to rub the beans and remove the skin. When you do this, you will see the skin starts to float. So what you have to do is rinse and remove the skin as much as possible. Rinse it a few times, the skin will float and you it will be very easy for you to drain it off. Just remove as much as possible. Once that's done, add more water and reboil it. Once it starts to boil, lower the heat and let it cook for another 10 to 15 minutes. Turn off the heat after 15 minutes. Stir in 2 tablespoons of white vinegar. Place a lid and let it sit for 15 minutes. Now, use a colander or a metal strainer to drain off all the liquid. Do not rinse the beans. Now, spread a kitchen towel or a clean cloth on a tray and spread the beans on it to remove the excess moisture. Do it in two batches if your tray is very small. Cover. And let it cool down now. If you have a kitchen thermometer, use it to measure the temperature. The beans must be below 35 degrees before the next step. You can let it cool down completely if you don't have a thermometer. For the next step, we need some banana leaf. You can use plastic bags if banana leaves are not available. Some thread. Some toothpicks. If you have a stapler at home, it will be better. Now the beans have cooled down. You can't wait for it to get completely dry for the next step. Transfer all the beans into a large mixing bowl. Add 2 teaspoons of this tempeh starter to the beans and mix it thoroughly. There must be some moisture present in the beans in order for the tempeh starter to stick to it. So don't wait too long. Use your fingers to mix it thoroughly because the heat from your hands will start the fermenting process. Once that's done, we'll start by doing the traditional method. Place some beans on the banana leaf. Now fold the leaves and bundle it up. Add more beans if possible but if the leaf tears wrap it up again with another leaf now use some thread to secure the bundle follow as illustrated It's ready for fermentation. Place it on a tray. 
for the plastic bag version we just fill half the bag with the bean if you have ziploc bags this process will be easier remove much of the air and fold the bag now seal the bag with some toothpicks Now flatten the bag, use another toothpick to pierce some holes all over it so that the fermentation process can start. Do it on both sides. Place it on the tray and flatten it. Instead of toothpicks, you can use a stapler if it's available. Continue until all the beans are done. Place it on a tray neatly so that the tempeh can take its form. Cover it with a piece of cloth and leave it at a warm area so that the fermentation process can start. After 24 hours, you can see that the process has started. There will be some warmness in the tempeh. Let it ferment for another 12 hours at least to get a better texture. After 36 hours, the tempehs are all perfectly fermented. You can start cooking it now. This is a very simple process. You should try making this at home. Share with us your photos and your comments. We will be uploading more recipes to show you how to cook this. To keep it fresh, store it in the refrigerator after 48 hours. Till we meet again with a new recipe. Vanakkam, bye! Thank you, thank you! Don't forget to like and...